Hello students, welcome to my channel Study Assist. Today I shall be telling you about the different methods through which absorption of water and minerals takes place in plants. The three methods that we shall be discussing are osmosis, diffusion and active transport. So before we start, we need to know about an important part of the plant that is found in the roots which is called the root hair. Root hair cells are unicellular, thin wall outgrowth of the epidermis, which is outermost layer of the root. They are generally present to increase the surface area for absorption of water and minerals from the soil. The soil particles are coated with a thin film of water and this root hair will be in close contact with those water molecules and help in the fast absorption. So as you can see in the diagram, the different parts of a root hair in the magnified form. Now, I shall be telling you. So now we will start with osmosis. As you can see the definition of osmosis, it is the movement of water molecules through a semi-permeable membrane from an area of its higher concentration to an area of its lower concentration. So now what will happen in a plant cell, we will see this through the diagram. As you can see the diagram in which we are having a root hair and the water molecules surrounding it. Now according to the process of osmosis, the concentration of the water molecule is mostly more in the soil than in the roots. So the water will start flowing from the root to the root hair cells. The soil is having higher concentration of water and the root hair cells here are having low concentration of water. This process is called osmosis. When the transfer will happen, as you can see in this arrow, it is moving to the xylem. Here you might be thinking there is a semi-perpable membrane. It is nothing but the cell membrane of the cell which allows only certain particles to enter into the plant body. Then the water is absorbed and the concentration in the root hair will increase. So suppose this is a root hair, now the concentration is more here and then it will go to the next cell. Then the next cell concentration will increase and it moves to the next cell which is now the lower concentration. And like that, it is going to move up till the xylem. And inside the xylem, water travels upward from one cell to another against the force of gravity. So this is the process of osmosis. Now, I'll be talking about two other methods, that is diffusion and active transport. So as you can see, the definition of diffusion is movement of salt or mineral molecules from a region of their higher concentration to a region of their lower concentration. Now, it is very much similar to osmosis, but you will see that I have not mentioned about any semi-permeable membrane here, because for diffusion we don't need any such membrane. And when will diffusion take place? It will happen when the concentration of mineral ions is more in the soil than inside the root hair cells. These two processes, diffusion and active transport, mostly are related to the absorption of minerals. Not just water, but minerals. And as you can see the definition of active transport, it is the movement of mineral ions from a region of their lower concentration to a region of their higher concentration. And in this process, we use energy, that is ATP. The plant uses the energy produced during respiration, that is ATP. And this happens when the concentration of the minerals is high in the root hair cells and still they absorb it from the surrounding. I would like to mention here that the plants need various types of minerals like potassium, calcium, nitrogen, etc. in the soil which is needed by the plants. So these two methods will help the plants to absorb 
the minerals from the water in the soil. Now let us quickly go to the last part of this video that is the difference between osmosis and diffusion. As you can see the difference between osmosis and diffusion. The first difference is it is limited in the osmosis is limited to the liquid medium. Osmosis only happens in the liquid medium but diffusion occurs in all the mediums that is in gases, liquids and solids. The semi-permeable membrane is needed in osmosis whereas we don't need a semi-permeable membrane in the diffusion. Only the solvent molecules can diffuse in osmosis but the molecules of solute and solvent both can dissolve and dis diffuse in diffusion. The flow of particle happens in one direction in osmosis whereas the flow of particles occur in all the directions. And it is generally a slow process that is osmosis is slow whereas diffusion is little faster in gases but slow in liquids. So with this I am sure you might have got some idea about the today's topic that is diffusion, osmosis and active transport. Thank you for watching.